First up, Amber, listening on the web in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Amber. Hi. I had a question. Um, My question is about family size. My husband and I are seeking God about our family. We have two children, and we have had two miscarriages. And I was wondering about the scriptural basis for guidance about expanding or not expanding your family. We've read the scriptures about um, being fruitful and multiplying and just wondering if those are commands or blessings or just where do we go in the scripture about um, our growing family or not growing our family. Well, we are called to be fruitful and multiply. That is certainly true. And there are imperatives in which we should consider a child more important than a Cadillac. In other words, there are principles that should guide our family planning, and those principles ultimately reside in the sovereignty and the province of God, recognizing that God is control of all things, and therefore we should trust in the arm of God as opposed to the arm of flesh. But that is not to say that birth control may not be used for reasons of health or financial stewardship. But it is to say that birth control should never be employed out of a purely selfish motive. And I think that's the issue. And if birth control is used, you need to be very careful that you're using birth control methods that do not destroy an embryo. Because from a Christian perspective, and now from a scientific perspective, while an embryo doesn't have fully developed personality, it does have full personhood from the moment of conception. And therefore, to destroy a conceptus or an embryo is to destroy human life. So we need to be very careful if we go the route of birth control that we do not use birth control means that actually kill a human being. Okay. My husband and I don't... um we don't use hormonal birth control, so we're definitely online with that. But um, we're just seeking God about just growing our family, you know, how many, how far to go. You know, I just recently had a miscarriage, so I'm just really seeking God about um, whether or not, you know, we should have more kids. Well, as the father of 12 children, I'm probably hardly the person to ask that <laughs> question. But, um, you know, one of the things that I've recognized over time is that, Uh, One of the greatest joys of my life is having a large family. If I had been left to my own devices, I probably would not have wanted to have a large family. My wife always wanted to have a large family. I'm now uh, very grateful that we do have a large family. Uh, My older kids have become my best friends, kids that I can do a whole lot with, enjoy, uh, learn through and with, travel with. Uh, and I've always found that God provides the necessary means. And I think a lot of people who try to limit birth oftentimes end up doing things that wouldn't happen anyway, which is to say uh, you never know how many kids you can have one way or the other. And ultimately, from a biblical perspective, it is God that opens and closes the wound. And from my own personal conviction, uh, life is a special category, and therefore... Uh, While I think that our actions matter, I'm pretty convinced that it is God that opens and closes the womb, and a lot of people that are trying to prevent births might not be able to have those births in the first place. Yeah, that's totally true. I've been there. Okay, well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your show and appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. appreciate your call.